Here we are in Sizewell, Berkeley, and this is the latest on the Yellowstone area quake swarm. Uh, it's Yellowstone because this is this is Yellowstone Lake. This this is Yellowstone Lake. This is Yellowstone supervolcano, and it's about 190 miles west. But uh, I I call it the Yellowstone area. I I venture to think that you understand why it's so close. Okay, even though it's in Idaho, it's in the area basically above the, uh, let's go to the area and you'll see. Okay. And uh, the shake intensity again. Okay. And pulling out. Uh, it covers it, it covers the whole of Yellowstone, so uh, that's why I'm calling it Yellowstone area. Uh, I hope you uh, you don't think that I'm uh, overreacting, but uh, th this is over Yellowstone, and uh, I just had a comment that they felt it in Seattle. Of course, they felt it in Seattle. Look at the intensity of the shaking; it's six point five, and the other ones were, of course, a lot smaller. Thank goodness. Um, so maybe that was the major, but uh, you can see that there's a quake swarm happening there. There you go. Since the last video I did, there's about, uh, oh, that's, what's that? That's the 4.6, yes. We had the 6.5, the 4.6, then we had 5.3, 5.4, 5 5.2, uh, sorry, no, sorry, I'm, no. I'm just very jittery. 3.5, 3.3, 3.2, there's 3.6, 3.5, and um, these are the past hour of the red, 3.2, and uh, they're basically shallow, and 3.3, uh, and going to uh, our area right here. This is Idaho right here, and this is the hotspot area that was uh, took the track to take Yellowstone where it is today. This is lava flow, as you can see right here, very pristine and very clean lava flow. And um, we measured it before. It's just about 190 miles from um, the border of. Um, let's go from the border right there. Uh huh. What's happening? Yeah, it's about 190 some odd miles. Okay. For from uh, Hebgen Lake to about here. So um, it's in the general area of Yellowstone, and it also shook the whole area of Yellowstone. So. Uh, they're still going on in the general area. Salmon River Mountains, and just going back, okay, that's a very strong quake, and as we can see from the shaking, it shook um, most of the area, I would venture to say it also shook uh, San Francisco here. Definitely, and I would venture to save in this area down here. Definitely shook Salt Lake City. If you can use your imagination, you can extrapolate those lines going out. So the number of people that have reported this has increased. Okay, it's almost 30,000 now. It's almost doubled to uh, what it was when I first saw this. And... Um, and we all know that, of course, Yellowstone is a supervolcano. It erupted uh, in this area 2.1 million years ago, super eruption, then 1.3 million years ago, super eruption 640,000 years ago, uh, a super eruption, which was a double eruption 170 years apart. We know that Yellowstone has 60% of the world's geysers and even the bigger one. The biggest in the world is Steamboat Geyser, and that has had uh, a very intense 
eruption since March of 2018, almost erupting every week, just about. And from what the geologists have told us, and I've uploaded loaded videos on that, just uh, today and yesterday, they've told us that it's because of the magma intrusion and uh, some inflating there causing the uh, steamboat geyser to erupt more frequently because uh, that's what happens. Yellowstone breathes, it heaves in and out, in and out, it inflates, it deflates, and uh, that's just a normal process of the supervolcano. But they did tell us, though, that they're, uh, what they're afraid of is the fact that if there's a nearby large quake, uh, that it would affect Yellowstone. And that we saw here that this has definitely shaken Yellowstone. Okay, now we'll expect Yellowstone Volcano Observatory to come out with a, um, an announcement about this. I, it's too big for them to ignore this, obviously. Even the 4.6 would have been big enough for them to come out with a uh, 4.6. Where's the 4.6? There, that one there. Even the 4.6 would have been big enough for them to come out and say something. Okay, there's 388 that felt that one, reported feeling that one. And, um, okay, so they're still ongoing, as you can see. And they're still ongoing in Utah. The quake swarm there is still going. That's where we had the 5.7 a few days ago. And this is where we have the Texas 5 magnitude the other day. Okay on the 26th, and that's a quake swarm there as well. So quake swarms there over big earthquakes, a five magnitude and quake swarm, 5.7 Utah and still ongoing. And this one here is a really big surprise, very big surprise. So all of you there, please be very careful and tell us what you felt if you are in the area. Thank you and God bless and protect you. This is the mantle plume that I was telling you about passing through Baja and into Utah and up to Yellowstone. And you can see on the left hand side, it is not just Yellowstone that we have that magma, it's also right under uh, Idaho as we saw. And as a matter of fact, that's where it's shallow. You can see right there between uh, zero and a hundred kilometers. And that's where that the wet to the west of Yellowstone is where we have that huge blob of red that's where we're having our quakes today, as a matter of fact. It seems to be between uh, Pacific Ocean, as you can see, and Yellowstone, right smack in the middle, shallow, right there. Okay, and that's where we're having today's earthquakes, just as a reference. And uh, we have noticed, of course, an uptick in the uh, steamboat geyser eruptions since March of 2018. And this is the general area of our quakes, and of course the shaking was a lot more intense and a lot more spread out than what I have the circles here showing. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.